Chubbies is crushing it online. From the memes they post on social media to their booyah email sign-offs and their playful product names, Chubbies fully embraces their carefree goofball voice. When launching a new product, company, or even a campaign, one of the words that gets thrown around a lot is branding. But what makes up a brand? Is it a logo, a font, and color scheme? It's so much more than that. This week on Per My Last Email, we're going to define what a brand is and highlight some great examples and fails along the way. Ultimately, a brand is an identity, and that identity is built with consistent visuals, voice, and online user experience. Let's break that down. First, visual identity. Yes, this starts with a logo and style guide, but it really is the total package. Your website design, graphics, videos, social profile assets, documents, and more should all adhere to a consistent visual identity. Why? Because 90% of people expect their experience with a brand to feel consistent across all platforms and believe that an inconsistent experience indicates a poor product. One brand that does this really well is Lush Cosmetics. Across all mediums, Lush leans in on their bold black and white with bright pops of color that mirror their products and store displays. Second, your brand needs to have a voice. From your word choice to your tone and attitude, how you interact with your audience should be consistent. Maintaining that consistent voice can be tricky when multiple people have a hand in your content creation. That is why we recommend creating a voice doc that ensures every piece of digital content produced looks, sounds, and feels like a concrete vision. One company that does this really well is Chubbies. Chubbies is one of the most distinctive voices in the shorts and swimsuit industry. From the memes they post on social media to their booyah email sign-offs and their playful product names, Chubbies fully embraces their carefree goofball voice. Every piece of content you see from Chubbies has a positive, feel-good tone. Lastly, building a successful brand involves creating a user-friendly website. You could have an amazing product, a great cause, a campaign worth supporting, but if your audience searches for you online and doesn't have a good experience, you could lose their support and money. This translates to building a website with well-executed development, basic usability, and all of your platforms like e-commerce, email, and forms working within your site framework. One website fail I recently stumbled upon was author Suzanne Collins' website. Based on my experience with the Hunger Games brand as a whole, I was expecting a more thought out website. The site design is simple, but the overall user experience is poor. There are wide gaps between content, poor site navigation, no clear place to buy her books, and no rich media that keeps you on the site for a long period of time. Make sure you have these three elements in place, unified visuals, voice, and online experience. This will help build your brand's legitimacy and consistent online experience that your audience is looking for. If you're ready to start thinking about building or rebuilding a brand and want to have a long-term creative partner, consider working with an agency like Image. You'll get a team of copywriters, graphic designers, animators, and web developers that can bring your ideas to life and ensure your voice is unified across all mediums. If you'd like to learn more about how we approach branding and want to take a look at some of the brands we've developed, head on over to image.com and follow us on social at Team Image. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Oh, look at our new, oh. Oh, hi, can you just look at the camera? What's up there? <gasps> Do you see it? <gasps> oh, oh, no, 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 look at, look at your food. <gasps> hello, hello.